Okay, I will show you many to many relations in type ORM. So there is this good section of the documentation where they, de where they describe uh, three ways to define many to many relations. Um, I will put a link the in the description for this article. But basically the first one, uh, they are um, creating this example with the category and the questions. So each category have many questions and uh, each question have many categories at the same time, so many to many. And if you read this, uh, many, to ma many to many is a relation where A contains multiple instances of B and B contains multiple instances of A. Uh, so basically what they did here, they defined an entity called category and no uh, relation decorators here. So just a normal column called name and the primary generated column ID. But in the question, uh, just the three normal columns, but they use the many to many decorator and they are referencing the category entity. And in the documentation, they said uh, in this case, you need to put the join table in the, after the decorator relationship. So here, or the owner on the owner uh, side of the relation. So, and this is what allows us to do is to get the categories for each question and I think that's basically it but you can't get the questions for each category since there is no decorators in the entity uh, in the yeah in this entity the category entity and what this decorator does it will create this table with the ID as foreign keys from both of them so it's the table name with then the ID like this so it's a camel cast uh, I think this is one of the reasons that you don't want to use this because it does not allow you to customize this table. Maybe if, maybe you want to add more columns, right? So create a dot, update a dot, maybe type of the relation. Uh, you can add many columns and this is what usually will happen. You will add columns here. So this is, I think, the main reason that this is not a good idea. And the second one, you can't get the questions for each category using, uh, for example, this way of querying the data. I already showed you, showed you this. So I'm getting, uh, in this example, all the users with their posts. So here you can get all the questions with their categories, but you can't get all the categories with their questions. So this is also another reason why this is not uh, that good, but it might be useful for in your case. Okay, so if you scroll down, I will come eventually to these, the CRUD operations. But just scroll down a little bit, you will find this bi-directional relations. So the issue that I just told you about, uh, you can't get the questions for each category, but you can get the uh, categories for each question, can be solved when you put the decorators in both entities. So as you can see, the many-to-many -many exist in both entities now. And in each one, we are referencing the other uh, entity. So here in the categories, we're having many to many relation. Uh, we are retaining the first call back the question. This can be also a string. And the second call back, this is how we will access the categories from the question. So just like this, question dot categories. And the same thing applies in the question entity, um, like this. So we are different the category and how we can access the questions from each category, like this. So, and you need to also put the join table here. Uh, I think this is also good and you can customize things a little bit. I, I was wrong, I just, I just remembered that. So let me just show you the number of attributes you can add to the join column, sorry, the options you can pass to it. So this is the name and the other, the other property is the reference column name. So here you can put the post, I, sorry, the question ID like this underscore and uh, category ID. So you can change the foreign key uh, names like this um, yeah so this will be here and you will change the name and the reference column name uh, the name uh, is the, is this table referencing this table so th the name will be question underscore ID the reference column name will be the category underscore ID uh, this is really good and you can access the um, using this way so you can access the questions for each category and the categories for each question with the syntax, which is nice.
and also with the query builder but we i might go into that later but yeah so this is also good but i still don't think this is uh the the best way to do it the best way is if you just call at the bottom this section many to many relations with custom properties so usually you will put in the conjunction table the table that um, provide us the capabilities of uh, like representing the many many to many relationship between two tables the third table so usually you will add some columns there and this is most of the cases so this is how you do it you will just define another entity which is the conjunction table you can here for example add your um, custom columns here you have this order and they have here they don't use the many to many relationship and let me just explain it to you then i will write the code so if you look at these three tables so categories have many questions and each question have many categories and to, we are doing this by this conjunction table but think about it starting think about this relation starting from this table so the conjunction table or sorry many con many rows in this conjunction table belongs to one category and also many rows from this conjunction tables belongs to one question so many to one with the category and many to one with the question so this is another way uh, to handle relations uh, usually in ORMs even in, even in, uh, in SQLIs or other ORMs this is how we usually do it we will create a, a model that represents the conjunction table and just link it with many to one relation with the other tables and from these tables we will link it from one to many relationship like this so we are using many to one in the conjunction table to reference the post and the category or maybe the question i think here they made a mistake but whatever um, and here in the category we have one to many and in the post we have one to many so i will do it uh, in our example and i will first i will create an entity called uh, categories.entity.typescript and entities and sorry categories and posts have many to many relationship between them so yeah i'll just make things a little bit more faster so one second i will just copy paste and explain so i will import these things uh, from the type or m we don't need one too many right now and i will import the shared properties and this is not done yet okay now i will call the entity the creator and export class category categories entity i will call it oops and it will extend the shared property like this so this is the created ad update that if you remember so i would have an id which is primary key primary generated column and i will have a column which is the label so this is like the type of the category usually i will do this in an ena in other languages in other sorry database engines but since i'm using sqlite we don't have an ena but i can show you an example for that so i will put it here as a comment maybe you can look at it so this is how you define an ena uh, in typescript and this is how you can reference that in type or like this uh, it will still type enum sorry no this would be like this and as you can see for the column options i'm passing the type enum the enum you should pass the enum itself so this is this one the, the category labels coffee snacks time programming and the default uh, which is this one so usually in enums uh, you don't need to put equal something uh, like this and this will map to zeros sorry from zero zero one two three but uh, this is what will be stored in the database so zero is coffee uh, one is snacks two is time but to make them uh, strings you need to do this so coffee will be coffee snacks snacks in the database and, and so on but this will work in mysql and postgres 
we don't have enums in C colon, so I'll stick with this. So this is the first entity, and let me export it in the index to TypeScript in the entities. So export from categories entity. Okay. Now we can create the second entity, which is the conjunction table between them, which I will name um, categories dot entity categories posts dot entity dot TypeScript like this categories posts dot uh, TypeScript. Okay, so I will import the same most of the things that I usually import from TypeORM. You can type. There's something wrong. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm import from type type rm okay we'll import the entity uh, the column the primary generated column and I'll import the many to one and the join column okay and this is it for now. So add entity or oh, export class categories entities or sorry categories posts entity like this and it will extend the shared properties. So first thing I will have um, an ID which is auto increment. So this will uh, make me easily delete the relations. Now I'll have like a custom column, I'll call it some column and I'll change the name to the in the database to this uh, snake case. Now I can use the many to one decorator to reference the posts and the categories. So add many to one and to the property will, will be called post and it's a post entity. Okay. So first thing, it could be a string or a callback function which should return the type. So this is the post entity. And the second one is also a callback function that accepts an argument. We call it post of type post entity. And how we can uh, reference this table from the post like this. So post dot one second post dot I don't want to have a typo so post dot categories posts and this need to be done or need to be added in the posts entity but we will do this and this will be the same thing to the uh, categories so this will return the categories entity and we will have a callback function that just returns the category dot categories posts and this will be called category of type categories for entity and you need to have the join column here so it will allows us to modify the, col the column name the foreign key column name so this will be post underscore id and this will be category underscore ID like this and we need to modify now the categories entity and the posts entity so go to the categories entity uh, you need to add the one to many now I hope this is clear so one to many uh, first one will return the categories posts entity now the second callback which should return this property, the category, right? Or should reference that, you can say. Like this. And this would be categories posts of type array of categories uh, posts entity. Um, maybe I can look at the docs to make sure so as you can see they are referencing this uh, the conjunction table here i'll show how we can query this because this might be the most confusing part so 
Yeah, I think one thing that I forgot is to add a custom name here. So by default, it would be categories entity. I will change this to categories. Now we need to go to the posts and do the same thing. So I'll just um, copy paste, make things a little bit more faster. So we will reference with a relation one to many the categories posts entity like this. And now there should be no idols here. Okay, let's go into our or you know let's rename this. Right? So name will be the categories posts. And let's export it in the index to TypeScript. So export from categories posts this like the entity and now inside our app to TS and it lets me just uh, look at that we need to import them so they all will be imported from here so categories entity and categories post entity and we just need to add them here so categories entity and categories post entity I believe that should be it so npm run ts node add ts okay sounds good so now we have four let me refresh just to make sure we have four tables which is correct the posts it has the user id it's referencing this table which is correct and the categories have just these so the label id created and updated app the categories posts have the post id the category id as a foreign key and we have the created and updated app and the sum column so basically this is just another way to think about many to many relationships you need you don't need to use the many to many decorator you can just uh, use the one to many and the many to one decorators to map that relation um, like this which i think is more customizable so you can add many things here in the future you can add even event listeners here so you can subscribe to specific uh, CRUD operations so it will give you more customizable mm, that's a hard word so it will be, <laughs> it will give you more uh, customization uh, into your uh, table um, I think that's it um, there is a repo you can check the code if this was really confusing and hopefully things will be clear and that's it